Hey, what up, guys? This video go back here, another video. I'm uh, gonna talk about the things in the descriptions. Uh, as far as a, a few rants and a couple of things. Uh, but first, before all that, I'm gonna do my comic picks and my pick for the week. So, for you, let me get into it. It's my went kind of long. So, the first one I got this week is Street Fighter vs. Dark Stalkers uh, issue two. Just continues the story. As um. You know, Lilith is in the picture, and we kind of see some cool stuff with Lilith. It makes me like Lilith a little more, and I was like, even though I still like Morgan. Uh, there are some developments, and we get, uh, <laughs> spoilers, but we get a violent can at the end. So that's kind of cool. Then we got a Suicide Squad issue 19. Uh, if you read the uh, action comics and stuff that's going on with Cyber Superman and even Zod, and I can continue that story arc, but it kind of concludes it in Suicide Squad and their own spin off. Let's kind of see some interesting, again, don't want to spoil it too much on these comics, but some interesting stuff happens as the new arc of uh, Suicide Squad is going to happen. So definitely pick up if you want to conclude the story arc in the new, or if you're just a Suicide fan, to see where they're going to go from there on. Then we got issue tech. Issue Tekken 2. A Tekken comic continues as they're trying to help out Jin with uh, with his whole, you know, uh, his whole, the, the, Jin's family, his, his grandpa and his dad, the weird dynamic they have and everything. As I know, I talked a little about that on my podcast, if it, he knows those for listen. But it uh, just continues the story as I try to help him and some, uh, a villain at the very end appears. Won't spoil it, but pick it up if you're just a Tekken fan or if you want to see what's happening with the story. It's very interesting. Um, one thing was uh, it's funny. I'm seeing a lot of people trying to ship uh, this chick Lin with a Jin, which it's kind of interesting the shipping. But uh, I can see why in this comic there might be some, you know, implements to that. So definitely check it out if you're just a Tekken fan in general. Then we got uh, Harley Quinn issue 21. She continues her story. I can find that futuristic Batwoman. Um, you know, not too much to say about it. It's still kind of cool. They're doing the side stories at the end with like the Batman animated reverse with Joker and everything. It's cool that it says they continue that. Uh, so I guess really, if you're just a Harley fan, pick it up. Uh, I'm not too big on it because. And the way that Ryan Hardy trying to make sound a good guy, she's not like, like there's a part where this character called uh, Dead Tool. Um, he's like, oh, I never seen Harley Qu Queen kill, yet there's suicide issues where Harley kills people and other issues where she's in this series where she's killed people. So it's kind of weird that he would say that, but digress. This is a mini rant. Then real quick, I do the couple of shot the shoot offs. We got what seems like the end, of the the final end of the gym. A holograms comic issue twenty six, and Misfits uh, five. They they both have something called the, the Infinity Gem Misfits uh, out, I guess next month. But these seem like these are the end of the comics, uh, from the way they kind of wrap everything up. I'm not sure where to go for there, because if they're playing off the cartoon. Which they vaguely play out the cartoon because they change a lot of stuff in the comics. Uh, what more they can do? But they use all the characters so far. Or most of the characters, most of the main characters. So the Sting has appeared already, uh, and both these issues. So it's kind of like I don't know where they're gonna go from there. But it definitely seems like this might be the end of Gemini Diagrams. Um, which, real quick, a little bit I think. It's just kind of weird how Simon would end and. I wasn't okay with all the total change they made, but some of the stuff is kind of neat. But the way they ended it seems kind of weird, and I would definitely change some stuff. But yeah. Also, we got of uh, Manga Picks is uh, the again another weird conclusion. Uh, the Dark Knight Three: The Master Race was issue bu book nine. Uh, clues, you know, they finally defeat the master races of Superman, uh, the, the other Kryptonians. Uh, 
I don't think that's too big of a spoiler. Uh, some big things happen with Superman and Batman. Don't want to give away too much. You can pick up this issue to find out. But it's kind of a weird ending, too. Because it's kind of like... Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, it seems like Frank Miller is going to make another one. Because uh, it seems like he could or something. Or like, it seems like very open-ended. And it's kind of weird the way it ends and everything in the statement. Uh, he does take one more shot at uh, Trump and Hillary. You know, that's Frank Miller. So that's kind of interesting. But... If, you, if you've liked it so far and just want to pick it up being a Batman fan, I'll definitely check it out. Otherwise, I'd say, um, because I know everyone probably is going to read it, but it's not necessarily a necessity of this one. Need, again, comics are necessary, but I'd probably, I don't know, I wouldn't know if I'd pass, but it kind of falls a little weird in the ending. So, I I don't know if I liked how it ended. Uh, but it seems like, like I said, it's open ended. Um, then we got a little one, it's a one shot, which I would definitely recommend for anyone to pick. This would be, if all the comics pick up this week or next, would be uh, this uh, little one shot. It's going to be, he said, one of three. Uh, Empire of Soldier Love. It seems like a new character, Adam Warner, uh, has created. Um, he doesn't do art for it, as you can see. Uh, not for this uh, Soldier of Love. He got someone else to do art. But it's definitely Adam Warner style, and it's. And it's Connected with an empowered universe, as he says, and like always, it's kind of like a spin off from that from this one thing. As if you look at the very back, which I found out, uh, it's volume 10 is coming out in July. That'd be the most latest volume because uh, he hasn't he really I don't know why he's doing like stuff on, on his like demon art and his tour like uh, like a web comic, but I guess he's still gonna release some hard copies for while well, until he if he ref finishes the series or whatever he does with it. But this is definitely a new character he does. It's very interesting. Um, definitely check out. It's very comical, funny, and cool. Definitely a must pick up. This is Star Wars comics. Uh, one more thing. Uh, manga is Dragar Academy, volume 12. Just pick up, read it. Other one. Uh, continues, you know, the tournament arc. Ash is going to have, like, yeah, there's always a tournament arc in uh, comics and everything. Especially in manga and animes. And at that point in this volume, see what happens with that arc and everything. But it's really just a tournament kind of arc of Dragon Academy. As everything, you know, revolves around Ash and some other big characters. Uh, things happen. Haven't, this is the only one I haven't read for this week. I'm in the midst of reading it. But, you know, definitely check it out if you're still in the Dragons and Magic. and Which like a series. Uh, so with the 8 minute mark, uh, a couple of things I want to say. Uh, put on spotlight. Uh... I know I talked about Honey Pop in the past, like, but Pussy Saga. Pussy Saga is like the spin off of that. Well, not really spin off. It's like the American copied version of it. A lot of people say it's, it's not as good. I'll, I'll say that. It's still somewhat enjoyable if you just want something free and easy. Um, you know, you don't really got to pay until, like, you really don't have to pay ever. Uh, you can pay. It's cause one of those app things. And it seems like once you progress well enough where uh, we don't have to pay, it's kind of it. Uh, unless you want to keep. You want to pay for it and keep playing, which I wouldn't recommend. But and you can always pay just 15 bucks uh, one time for Honey Pop to buy the game and other stuff. But the guess that uh, there's a new kind of game um, similar to that. It's like a kind of like an online RPG where you can battle stuff, kind of like Clash of Cans, but it's called the Hentai Heroes, and it's very interesting how like it is and everything. And I was like, it seems like it's by a French studio. Man, it might be American, but. It's very cool. It like parodies all the big animes and like he uh, hentai for them. It's very fun to pray. You know, it, it has very pussy saga and honey pop vibes. I definitely enjoyed it playing it. Uh, I didn't continue playing it, but I just wanted to get out there. You know, as a elude hentai artist, I want to be. Um, you know, there are points about like that. I I know it's kind of I mean to talk about it. I always forget. So yeah, the other thing well, my why my title is called what it is is um. Because I'm gonna be away for five months. Uh, I'm going on a mission trip uh, for my church um, to Australia, so I'll be gone five months. So I'm gonna still try to do videos every now and then, but I probably won't do a lot of like manga comic picks for a while. Uh, it might be just just video game and uh, movie reviews, or maybe just movie reviews. I gotta see how it is, but I might have a. I won't release them as monthly or weekly as I've been trying to do. But I just want to get it out for my couple of viewers, and you know, I do have a couple other things I'm working on as far as like a podcast on my SoundCloud. 
um, which is called Neat and Nerd, and I uh, also got another one called uh, Taco and, and Nerd Podcast, which is an anime podcast, animation podcast, talk about anime and cartoons. But I just wanted to get that out there. I know it's, it's kind of long, uh, going 10 minutes, but I just wanted to get that out there and let you guys know. So pretty much, you know, I'll see you guys next time. This video will sign off. Hold on to peace. You guys take care.